Okay, this tutorial will show you how to add music to your G1 phone. So what you need to do is get your G1 and get the black USB cord as pictured here that was located in the box when you got your G1. This is a USB cable. If you're not familiar with it, it looks just like this. What you need to do is get the thicker end like this because there's two ends. One side is a little bit smaller for those that aren't familiar. Get the bigger side and plug it into a USB port on your computer. Now, I happen to have some USB ports on the front of my computer tower here, but you may have to actually go in the back of your computer tower to locate one. So make sure you plug one in the front or the back, and then on the other side of your USB cable you will have a skinnier version, and this is where you need to plug it into your actual G1 device. Now that is going to be located right there guys, so right under all your four buttons right there. Open that up and let's go ahead and hook that up. Okay, we just plugged in our USB to our phone. You should see it right there connected and the other end should be plugged into your computer tower. So what we're going to do is you're going to see your main screen there. It may look a little different depending on your settings and we're going to click menu once. Menu is located right there. You're going to get a little pop-up you want to hit notifications. You're going to get another pop-up. It's going to say USB connected. If you don't see that, go back and make sure both ends are connected. One is in your computer tower and the other one is connected like so on your G1 phone. When you see this pop-up, click it once. You're going to get another little message. It's going to say USB connected. You've connected your phone to your computer. And on the left side you're going to see mount and on the right you're going to see don't mount. We want to click mount. Alrighty. And it's not really going to do anything. And now we're going to head over to our personal computer where we have our music files located. Okay, so you should now be sitting in front of the computer you want to get the song files from. So here I am. This is my boring desktop. Yours may look a little bit different, but we're actually going to go find my computer. Some people will have a shortcut that just says my computer directly on their desktop or if you have Windows just click your bottom left start button you'll get a pop-up menu here we want to just click my computer somewhere in that list click it one time you're gonna get a pop-up and we are looking for removable disk I don't know what drive it's gonna be on your computer but as long as it says removable disk or it might say um, something of the sort go ahead and click that double click it actually you're going to get three files that pop up. One of them will say album thumbs, one will say DCIM, and one will say music. These are files and music that are currently on your G1. Right now I currently have no album thumbs. Those would be thumbnails to um, music albums that I had. DCIM is actually, if you double click in there, you'll see two things, thumbnails and camera. That means any picture you you've taken with your camera on your G1 is going to be located in there. I've taken one photo, it's a Saab logo. Um, otherwise, if you had taken pictures with friends or anything else, they would be located in there. So, just so you know, you can use this tutorial for images. Say you want a certain image off your computer um, on your G1, use the exact same steps I'm showing in this tutorial for music, but instead for images, and that would be the folder you'd use. It's named DCIM. But currently we're working on music, so once you get to this page, we clicked My Computer, then we clicked Removable Disk, and here we are. We're going to double click Music, obviously that's what we're here for. I've got one song currently on my G1, and that is a Neo song. So that's just not enough for me right now, and I want to add another song. So this was just to show you guys where this song or where this song file is or multiple song files would be um, that's showing me what's on my G1. So go back to the start menu and we're actually going to go to find our music file. People keep their music in different places but the most likely place it'll be is my documents and then my music. All of your music files will be in your music folder hopefully. If not you should know where to find them. Um, so go ahead and find where your music is. I'm in my music and I've got a sample folder here of music. I'm going to double click that. So most of you, once you're in your music file, will automatically see whatever songs you have in there. 
I've got two sample songs in here, and one of them I'm going to use is Beethoven's Symphony No. 9. So this is a song I've chosen to send to my G1. So I'm going to go ahead and click that one time until it's highlighted like so. Right-click it once. You're going to get somewhat of a pop-up menu here. In that pop-up menu, you want to scroll down to Send To. Once you're at Send To, go to the pop-up list and click Removable Disk. Okay? One more time. You find your music files, click them once on the song, right-click, scroll down to Send To, scroll down to Removable Disk, and then click. Now that's telling me I already did that, so I was just doing that to show you guys. So go ahead and click out of there. We've just sent that file to the G1, hopefully. And just to double check, we'll go back to my computer. However you want to get there is fine. Find your removable disk. There's my song I sent, Beethoven Symphony No. 9. Okay, however, I need to drag it over into my music file if that's where I want to find it on my phone. So grab it, highlight it, drag it over there. Okay? So now it's disappeared, which means it's obviously in the right file. So to double check, we'll double click the music. Sure enough, there's my original Neo song and now my new Beethoven's number nine. Okay, so now let's close out of everything and go back to our G1 phone. Okay, so we're back to our phone. We've just downloaded music to the G1 from our USB cables. We were just on our computer and now we're back at the phone. So what we're going to do from this menu is click that button. You're going to get your pop-up menu here. You're going to click Music. It's going to be on your last row there. You got your four square pop-up. Artists, albums, playlists, and songs. To make it easy, let's just click Songs. Okay, there's our new song. We've got the original Neo song up here. And we've got the second song we just downloaded, Symphony Number no. 9. Okay, so now that you've got the song of choice, or songs of choice on your phone and you decide you want a specific one to be a ringtone, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's say I want my Beethoven song to be my new ringer. I'm going to click it once. Okay, so it's going to start playing, which is kind of loud, so I'm going to pause that really quick. Now, regardless of if it's playing or paused, it doesn't matter. You want to, once the song is pulled up like this, um, click your menu button, going to get a little pop-up menu there, and we want to click this button that says use as ringtone, boom, right there. Get a little pop-up that says okay, Beethoven's been set as your ringtone, and voila. So now I'm going to hit my back button just to show you guys one more time. Got my original song there that was always on there, and then we have the one we just added, Symphony No. 9. I'm now calling the phone to make sure the ringer's working. Okay, so we've got a ringtone. It's Beethoven number no. 9 or the song of your choice. And that's it. That's the end of the tutorial. This tutorial was brought to you by www.justg1.com.